So I had a couple of friends that are asking me why I'm most excited to go to France and I keep telling them I'm most excited because I get to try some French food. Starting our first day in France, I was already trying new things. At the start of our foodie tour, we were shown a few places to eat for lunch. I tried duck for the first time. After lunch, Muguet went into detail teaching us about French food. Okay, but the name is not necessarily protected. And you can make mozzarella, I'm joking. In Paris, as you can make it in little village of Florence, I don't know. But if you see that IGP, IGP tells you that if the name of a place, the name of a country is mentioned, is because everything from A to Z was done there with a certain tradition. Mm -hmm. Because saying French sausage doesn't mean much. A sausage of Lyon, unless you see this, doesn't mean anything. I'm not going to give AOC because it's not necessarily a unique microclimate. It's not necessarily free range either. But a sausage of Lyon is a recipe that unfortunately these guys don't protect. But if I say it's an IGP, that means that the meat is from there, the recipe is from there, the packaging. Whereas 90% of the sausage of Lyon that you buy, the meat comes from Bulgaria, uh, the transformation is done in Hungary, uh, the packaging is done, oh, the labeling is done in Lyon and they're allowed to call it sausage of Lyon. By going on this trip, I was able to try new foods and go to new places that I never thought I would. I'm sorry, you're not artisanal, you're not. And the chocolate there is around 50 euros a kilo. Now, you cannot have chocolate candies in France. Less than 60 euros a kilo, with the ingredients being good cocos, uh, brown sugar, uh, and made by hand. That doesn't exist. The first price of chocolate of that quality is 60 euros a kilo. Between 60 and 100, 120 is the reputation of the chef. And I don't know, you put like saffron in your ganache? Sorry, you have to make the price, okay? <laughs> so between 60 and 100, there are a lot of things. Mr. Herman decided he... One of the places we were able to visit was a French market. And when I say a French market, I don't mean a place where people can just come to on their bikes and buy a peach or two. I mean a place where big companies come to buy their products. Some of those products include fruits, meats, and cheeses. One night, we were able to have a tour before we ate dinner. That tour included the types of mushrooms they grew, how they grew the mushrooms, and how they raised their snails. Not only were we able to try new food, we were able to make some too. What's better than touring a chocolate museum? Touring a chocolate museum in France. Some, uh, do a how to make some chocolate sweets uh, that we call praline. First, you'll see a short video, only three minutes, about how to make chocolates from the beans to the regular chocolate. And then I will explain how to use these chocolates to make some sweets that's called praline. Donc on va commencer une démonstration de comment faire des bonbons fourrés, on appelle praline. Avant, je vais lancer une petite vidéo qui va dire juste trois minutes sur la première question. I met new people, I tried new food, I had a great time. I was able to put my textbook knowledge into an outside the classroom experience. What more could you ask for? <laughs>